Howdy everyone, Run9 here, and welcome back to Run9 Plays Battletech. I figure we're, uh, we're just gonna hop right into another contract, and there's this interesting looking One Skull mission. You know, might be a little bit difficult, but, you know, crank up the difficulty a little bit and have some fun. The battle in the jungle, it's called Mopping Up, and essentially, um, we've got some, uh, some partially torn up mechs that we need to go kill off. So this is a good salvage opportunity, this one where, honestly, I'm going to grab the two guaranteed salvage. Because I have run into this one before, where it will actually give... Um, medium, or they'll actually have medium mechs. So our Locust did take a little bit of structural damage here. Looks like it took a little bit in the right leg. So I think that we may want to prefer having this commando instead of this Locust. Just purely from the standpoint of we get more armor and more firepower at a loss of some movement speed. I think that's going to be okay. And so I do think we are going to keep ourselves in the scout. Um, we do need to get our tactics up there. You know what? Let's actually go check XP. I don't think that we're going to have enough to really do anything with it though. No, not quite. I mean, we can't actually do that. That lowers indirect fire penalty, but that doesn't really help us that much. And then for most of these guys, we're going to want to wait until they get their next upgrade. Yes, Commander. So we're not we're, we're going to wait until we have the 1600. So yeah, let's jump into that contract and have a little bit of fun. Just got done playing three hours of this on stream. If you, uh, if you are not following the stream, I highly recommend it because it is a lot of fun. And uh, we're naming the mechs after people in the stream, or naming the pilots after people on the stream. Letting people name the mechs with Runt Coin, all that good stuff. It's a lot of fun. I'm gonna bring the commando down here. And then I uh, think this will be just fine. I actually didn't realize the Vulcan was uh, that high on armor. So uh, we ended up getting a Vulcan on stream as well. But we also got a small coil. And let me tell you, a small coil on a Vulcan is so good, dude. I'm also starving right now. I've got Chipotle on the way, so... Uh, if I hear that doorbell ring, we're cutting this episode off, I tell you what. Not actually going to happen, you know, we'll finish out the episode, finish out the mission, but it'll probably be a little bit of a shorter one since the last one was an hour long. I do just want to, like, get through this one contract. It'll probably be around the 20, 20 to 25 minute range. And I figure that's probably how things are going to go. Is we're going to do a mission, maybe do a little bit of repair and whatnot. We're going to have some episodes where we're traveling, and so there's going to be a lot of mech customization and things like that. I also, for the most part, feel like some of the lag issues were figured out. No, no guarantee, but... So, this is just a pure battle mission. So, just kind of scan around. This is similar to the map that uh, the last mission on stream was. So, it goes quite a ways to the right there. Um, kind of goes up here. So, this whole mountainous area is uh, potentially a choke point. So, the enemy lance is up there. We're not going to be able to get up on here very easily. And there's this ridge that's going to block line of sight. So I think we want to take a bit more of a circular path. And try to come up this way. Because there's going to be more places to block line of sight. We could potentially even get one of our longer range units. Like Mothership with the two AC2s up in these trees. I think that's what we're going to do. Is we're going to just uh, start the sprinting process over this direction. Water is slow, so we want to get out of the water as quickly as possible. And the Vulcan can really book it, can't it? Alrighty, and let's just keep the sprinting going. I think I also got the music figured out, got it at a decent volume at this point. But if it's too loud, let me know in the comments. I actually didn't want to see the enemy units quite yet. I was kind of hoping that we could get a little bit further around first. So I'm going to keep sprinting, probably even sprint into cover here. I'm not worried about getting hit in the back. It would have been nice to see that mech, but I'm not going to worry too much about it right right now. So again, I, I'm going to keep focusing on sprinting and just keep going around the sides here. Because again, I want to use this mountainous area to our advantage. It looks like we're going to be able to pull that off. Definitely, you know, front towards enemy. Ready for orders. 
And the Vulcan... We can sprint all the way up into cover here. That's a that's a good cover spot. And then, honestly, let's reserve. Wait to see what they do. We'll even reserve down to uh, Initiative 2. And just kind of play reactive here. So I did watch a couple, like, tips and tricks videos today. You know, just learning a little bit more about what we got going on. So they got another Vulcan. And I definitely would not mind having a second Vulcan in our party. Because they can do a lot of neat stuff. Um... And, you know, we can customize it a little bit differently. So now, let's play reactive. I think I still want to continue sprinting. And let's get our Vulcan all the way around to the backside. Set up in a flanking position. And then same thing with YouTube here. Actually, if we move up here, we might be able to take a shot. Maybe a decent idea. I don't think we're actually going to want to take this shot, but they've got a Commando and a Vulcan. The Vulcan is definitely the highest priority. Four medium lasers, a flamer, and a machine gun can be very problematic. Doesn't have a ton of armor. I think we take these shots. We have plenty of ammo. And with missiles, I'm okay shooting shots that we may not hit with. Because if any of them hit, that's armor chipped away that we don't have to chip away later. And it's also evasion pips down, which is beneficial for us, you know, getting in there and doing some good work. So, at this point, jumping back here, maybe even into the water, and dealing with some indirect fire penalties is kind of okay. We've got a 30% on the Vulcan. I mean, again, I don't really like LRM-5s that much, but go ahead and take what we're given. 30%, again, if any of them hit, that's... That's four armor away from something that we don't have to chip away at later. And then jumping out here now down to a couple of or only one evasion pip. So let's turn the medium lasers off. Deal with less heat generation. What are we dealing with here? Enemy effects. Ah, it is in a spore field. So I guess I, I kind of neglected to take a peek at that. Where is the MG ammo at? CQC Suite would be a really good one to kill, but obviously it's in the center torso. Left torso, only six armor left. I actually think that a precision strike going for this left torso, if we can pop that machine gun ammo, that'd be great. We didn't get there, but we did hit with both shots, so still okay. Now we'll kind of see what we're dealing with here. Still in the spore cloud, large laser did not hit. Maybe it did hit. No, it didn't hit. Did get hit by a couple of uh, missiles there. And then we're in a pretty advantageous position here. I think this is definitely another reserve and just play reactive here. They've got a hunchback. Oh, that's a spooky one. Is this one sporting the AC-20? Oh my goodness. Okay, this is not an AC-20, dude. This is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... Eight medium lasers? Are you kidding me? One, two, three, four, five, six. So right torso. It's basically the same story as if the hunchback were in... Um, we're carrying the AC-20. Is you hit that right torso as hard as possible. Like the Vulcan is a problem. I don't like flamers and I don't like all those medium lasers. But... We've got we've to gotta get in on that hunchback. So uh, let's use our lights to strip away some evasion pips. Who hasn't gone? I think the Vulcan hasn't gone. We, we want to get in here and try to pop away some evasion pips. We can hit with... Or uh, can't hit. But we can attack with the medium laser. Consider jumping here. That's a that's a six evasion jump. This is, this is spooky, but strip away the evasion pips. All of those have a decent chance to hit as well. Also, heating up the hunchback when it has that much heat generation from eight medium lasers, it will never use all of them. What's the plan? So our commando does not have jump jets. 
I don't think that we want to move it straight up in here. Well, we'll... Ah, but we, we want to use it to strip away these evasion pips. You know what? As much as I don't want to just stand still, I think we just got to pepper it with some SRMs, try to strip some armor away. I think we got a torso hit. It looked like it. Not quite. We, we hit the arm. 42 armor, huh? 42 and 60. We're not going to be able to nuke that. We're not going to be able to get enough resolve either. This is definitely a jump in and hit from this direction, if at all possible. It's an 80 and a 75. I think this is actually a pretty solid position to shoot from. I realize that we got some heat coming in, but we're hitting the right side. That's where we want to be with the PPC. Thump. Good stuff. I think that was probably on the arm, though. Yeah, it was on the arm. There's only one laser there. All right. I think we want to move in for our medium lasers as well. Oh, baby, this is going to be a rough one. We're going to have a rough go on this one. Getting a height advantage, that's an 80% on all of them. Do we need to turn a certain side towards the enemy? I think we're even on our torsos, basically. We've got an AC2 in the right arm. Left torso is carrying the other AC2. I think we'll probably want to turn about like this. And then the hunchback, it's all for you, buddy. Where are we going? Oh, we did destroy left arm, small laser crit, head hit, pilot injured. It's going to be able to fire off a good volley of lasers. Flamer onto blackjack isn't the worst thing in the world because we can always drop down to just the AC2s. Those aren't big heat generators. Is the Hunchback going to be the first one to go? Yes. So we're going to want to react to the Hunchback and do the same thing. So I think we're going to reserve here. Let the Commando do what it's going to do. I mean, you don't want to get hit, get hit by a large laser. We're probably going to take some structure damage on this one. Like, I can't possibly imagine us getting out of here with having without having repair costs. So we would have been able to get in one shot like this, but again, I, I'm thinking that you reserve and you just you uh, you take what they give you. Only one evasion pip is good. That is so many lasers, dude. Hunchbacks are spooky. I'm going to be honest with you. The Vulcan's going to get to go as well. All right, our Blackjack is in a rough spot. We're going to want to try to get it back a little bit. Let's take a look at where that damage is dealt. Okay, so we've almost lost a laser and some AC2 ammo and an AC2. We need to get the Blackjack out of battle. I actually think that going for a rear strike on the Hunchback is not going to be that beneficial. Let's, uh, let's have our Commando get into position to hit the Hunchback as hard as we can. Three evasion. It's going to be just out of range. That's four. Those are some low percentage shots. Is it in the is it in a spore field? It does have the spore cloud buff. We're gonna we're gonna have to just take what we're given. Oh sorry, no no no. The the hunchback. Also has spore field. Yeah. But it does take 20% more damage. That is beneficial. We're gonna get in cover here and we're just gonna pepper it. All you can really ask for. Good stuff. Right arm destroyed. That opens up the torso. We're going to want to get the Vindicator in here to uh, to soak up some of this. Well, the problem is the Vindicator is a sniper just like the other one is. 
That's in minimum LRM range. We actually kind of want to just fire from here is the thing. How far can we move up? Only one? Not even worth it, honestly. I, I think we take this shot. It's right rear. So, it, again, if we can get that torso down, that's the only thing that matters. And I think that you maybe even go for the precision strike with the PPC. Go for that torso and thump it. I think we hit the leg. I'm pretty sure that hit a leg. Let's double check. Yep, that, that hit the right leg. Ah, uh, it's not where you wanted it to go. Alright, our blackjack is in a rough spot. We do not want to lose that AC2 if we can avoid it. I think we want to get as far back as possible, or as, as into safety as possible. I don't know that there's going to be a good spot for that. I don't know if they'll go for us up here. They probably will is the thing. They're not high percentage shots because it is obstructed. We actually would prefer to jump to this side as well. I think we're going to just have to take it from here and just pray that we don't lose our blackjack. We should have turned the left side towards the enemy. Or the right side. No, we should have turned the right side. Okay, actually, we're, we're, we're going to be okay at least. Fire from this side. Miss. Hit there. That was in the leg, so it's knocked down. We didn't kill the torso. But I think we're going to just leave this up to the Vulcan at this point. It has so little structure left. Six on that right torso, dude. Yes. Alright. So it's basically up to our Vulcan at this point. I do not want to get into a melee engagement with these guys, but... I think you gotta take what you're given. 95% chance to deal 50 damage. If we're hitting on this side, like, it's gotta crush that torso. It's just got to. I think we take it. It's risky, but our Vulcan hasn't taken damage yet. Heat sink destroyed. Is that seriously it? Right torso destroyed. Let's go. Okay, we're good. That's the biggest source of damage off the field. Now, our Vulcan is going to get hit, which honestly is fine. If they're not hitting the Blackjack, we're good. That was a, a bad stray shot to take. And then... I mean, I legitimately think you just go super spicy here. Not a very high percentage shot because it still has the spore fields, but... What if we go back here a little bit? Still low percentage, but we can turn face towards enemy and be hitting the right side. Although I guess it doesn't matter. We're still not going to kill the CT. We actually should have gone for the leg. Or the head. 2% versus 15%. I'll... Actually, we don't even care. He only has a small laser left. <laughs> Never mind. We need to start working on the, the Vulcan now. With its four medium lasers. Honestly, I say we go center a mass here. Or actually, we don't have a called shot. Still has spore fields as well. Ah. You know what? Let's just uh let's just go ahead and take the hunchback out of battle. We'll go for the legs. Heat sinks destroyed, doesn't really matter. Because the problem is, it's going to be able to get up and do a melee attack. Going after our blackjack. We're safe. Can't take many more of those. Oh. Okay. We live to fight another day. Three left on the torso. Yes, Commander. 
Got to figure out how we want to play this. The thing is, the Hunchback can get up and do a pretty feisty melee hit, but I think I'm okay with that. I think we want to get in on their Vulcan. Rear armor is 15. Chipotle Burrito just got here. I want to finish this battle up, man. I'm hungry. We go here. Everybody have the spore buffs? They do have the spore buffs. Crap. Probably just go for the rear attack. What, uh, what is it? We would be able to get a side attack on the commando. I mean, a large laser is 40 damage. It doesn't really have any heat problems right now. If we did a side attack... We only need to do 60. We may be able to ice the commando. I think icing the commando is a better option than... There are other options right now. I do realize the low percentage chances, but... I say we take what we can get here. Right arm destroyed. Everything else is going into the torso. Come on, baby. Ah, we didn't get there. That's fine. Uh, Commando's in a rough spot now. It lost its large laser. That's the biggest problem from that. Taken care of. So now it's just focus fire the Vulcan. Which we need... I think we really would ideally like the AC2s to hit it. 25 a pop. I think we want the PPC to hit. So we're actually going to use the blackjack here as the evasion stripper. I realize this is like a long shot and it's all going to miss. I want the blackjack as far back as possible. I want them to stop shooting at the blackjack. And turn the lasers off. Just fire the AC2s. That's fine. We got one hit and we got an evasion pip gone. So now... Get Silver Eagle moved up just a little bit. That's your two evasion. That's probably all we're going to get. I understand. And then just take what take what they give you. Yeah, PPC missed. Got a couple hits with the LRMs. But the Hunchback is going to get up and it is going to be able to do a melee attack. Or, or use a small laser and miss. That's even more ideal. We can pretty much ignore the Hunchback at this point. It has been neutralized. Again, I, I think getting the Vulcan down is going to be our biggest priority here. And we're going to get two turns before it moves. Their commando is going to get a chance to go, but honestly, it's not that big of a threat at this point. We can go smash this thing in the back, but I would prefer to hit it with some SRMs. Low percentages, but I'll take it. This actually works just fine for me. Good damage. We got some structure exposed somewhere. So their commando is going to go do something. Firing at our commando, perfectly fine. Leave our blackjack out of it. Already taken some structure damage and, you know, again, don't want it to die here. In fact, that's probably the one that we should move first, is just continue getting it out of trouble. The only thing that would be able to shoot it from there... Uh, left side towards enemy? No, right side towards enemy. Just, uh, just give them the full right side. You're not hitting me on the left. We can fire the AC2s without taking any heat damage. I mean, they're probably going to miss, but, you know, we're, we're going to want the precision shot for the Vulcan. Honestly, good stuff. We got one hit out of it. That's more damage down on the commando. The Hunchback small laser, it's just, it, it's basically neutralized at this point. So Shudder isn't going to be able to, oh, it can actually melee. Then yes, go for the melee. I mean, look at how damaged it is. Just just get in there. Do whatever you can. A bump, that's a miss. That's a bad miss, brother. You hate to see it. 
There were a couple more misses in there. Heat sink destroyed, medium laser is critical. That was that was actually kind of bad. You, see, you hate to see it. Boy, am I glad that we turned the right side to him. Alright. If we could just hit center mass. Like, let's get into good cover. It still has the freaking spore buff, dude. Hold shot, center mass, cross fingers. Let's go. Thump. Let's go! Get out of here! That's what I'm talking about, baby! Going after the blackjack. Oh, it's torso survived! Oh. Alright, let's get the hunchback out of here. The hunchback of no true, no you're dead. There we go. Both legs destroyed. That's what I was hoping would happen. I don't want you to even have a chance to use your small laser. Honestly, at this point, like, I kind of want to just make the blackjack run. Oh, God. Um. Hey, uh, Shudder. Can you get in here and do something? I mean, just give it all she's got, Cap'n. That really didn't do much, did it? Alright, it's center torso. Is it 18? We're going to use the AC2s to, uh, to strip some more evasion. We ideally want to be hitting it on its right side. So, where we want to go is over here into cover show you... Oh, really, I don't want to show you the right side either. The right side has a bit more structure left, though, so here is only the right side. That's all you're getting. Pepper it with the AC2s. Medium lasers would overheat. Don't even think about it. Let's go, dude! That was super spicy, but we didn't lose anything. We, we lost some cash from repair costs, but that was a heck of a one skull. We got out of it, not unscathed, but without losing a single piece of uh, weaponry, which is the main thing. I don't even care about the cash. Yeah, these are critical. We've got some repair costs. We do have an injury, but that's okay. And I think we just give me the two hunchback parts right there. And then whatever else we get, we get. We did also get Commando, Flamer, Medium Laser, decent stuff. But this is what matters. Now, if we see a Hunchback salvage in the shop, we take it. And, um, I mean, it's that specific Hunchback where it's a laser array instead of an AC-20. But I'll take it. I mean, legitimately, eight Medium Lasers is an obscene amount of damage if you can get in to the right range and make it work. I mean, that was the primary thing that messed our blackjack up, was that. That was, that was fantastic, dude. All right. So again, we've got some repair costs, but let's go check out the store. Was there a hunchback for sale here? There was not. Dang it. <laughs> I would have loved that. You know, we could outright buy a centurion because of the salvage here. I don't I, I don't know why I've never noticed it before, but they usually have enough salvage to do stuff with. Like also we could get a Griffin one in pretty easily here. And I, I've loved the Griffin in my uh, solo playthrough. We also should consider buying some melee mods for our Vulcan. Because at this point, like if we're gonna be stuck repairing for a while, we might as well travel. Travel somewhere else. I mean, we could roll these four, but that's... I mean, we could, we could do some half-skull stuff. We also can do... Um, i show you these contracts real quick. There's two of these, the B-team and training day. We only have to send along one mech. 
Then lost supplies is an ambush convoy. We could probably get away with that with the, the two commandos. But only sending one mech basically means, all right, yeah, just send either the Vindicator or the Vulcan and just go. It'll be fine. So we're in an okay spot. And, you know, if we can pick up enough cash, I would consider, um, you know, just outright buying a new mech. Just get one of these commandos out of here or maybe even get the Locust out of here. Essentially, like, the Vulcan can operate as our scout at this point. We don't have a lot of good components sitting around. I mean, I'd like to use the snub PPC in the UAC-5, but we'll kind of have to see where we're at. But, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. So in the next episode, we'll probably be able to knock out both the B-Team and Training Day, because those are usually pretty short. So, um, yeah, looking forward to that. That should be a lot of fun. And we'll... Uh, <laughs> Uh, probably in the fourth episode is when we'll do some traveling and some repairing, but I think that's going to do it. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, the single best thing you can do to help the channel out is clicking the like button. The reason why is that sends a message to the YouTube algorithm that tells it, hey, more people would probably like to see videos like this in the future as well. So if you do enjoy the content that we produce here, that's going to be the best thing you can do. In addition, subscribing to the channel lets me know that, hey, I'm putting out some decent stuff. People are enjoying it. So definitely do that as well if you want to follow the series. In addition, check out the link tree in the description below that has links to Twitch, Twitter, and Discord. Come hang out with the community. See the streams five days a week over on twitch.tv slash rut9plays. But otherwise, that's going to do it. Until the next episode, I'm Rut9, and I'll see you later.